Fractions and decimals are rational numbers, or numbers that can be represented as a ratio. Just as students develop number sense for whole numbers, students need to develop rational number sense for rational numbers. One important element of rational number sense students should have is an awareness and understanding of equivalency among fractions, decimals, and mixed numbers. In order to accomplish this, Students need to be provided with numerous activities in which they represent, compare, and order a variety of rational numbers. Special emphasis should be placed on benchmark numbers, such as one-fourth and twenty-five hundredths, one-half and five-tenths, and three-fourths and seventy-five hundredths. The use of models, such as base ten blocks, decimal grids, and fraction squares, along with money, is a great way for students to become comfortable using multiple representations to model and investigate equivalent rational numbers. For example, students can begin to explore the relationship between fractions and decimals with decimal grids. Students need to understand that fractions and decimals are both numbers represented by a ratio, or parts to a whole, and that decimals are simply fractions based on tenths, hundredths, thousandths, and so forth. Students can begin this exploration by shading decimal grids to represent one-tenth, two-tenths, and so on. Then, to help strengthen student learning, have students record the numeric value represented by each shaded grid. The fraction, one-tenth and the decimal, one-tenth. Students can also use decimal grids to investigate a wide variety of fraction and decimal relationships, such as using greatest common factors to write fractions in simplest form and incorporating mixed numbers. In addition, these shaded grids can be used to make comparisons, determine equivalents, and order numbers. Along with decimal grids and fraction squares, have students use another familiar model to represent equivalent rational numbers, the number line. Begin by having students place fractions, decimals, and mixed numbers on an unmarked number line, one on which just zero and one or two are marked. Then have students place several benchmark rational numbers on the line. One-fifth one and one half, and five tenths. Have students explain and justify their reasoning as they place the numbers. Students can also use other models, such as fraction squares and decimal grids, to support their reasoning and their solutions. When completing activities such as these with your students, remember to be sure to emphasize the reasoning involved. This will help your students develop a strong rational number sense, which will help them to be successful with all the rational number concepts and skills they study throughout their mathematics classes.